Today I want to show you how we can uh, change the name to all uh, our sprite. Let's say that we got all this image here and it's this work, um, working sprite, okay? And as you can see I just I have a number 0, 1, 0, 2 until 10. Okay, let's open the command line here and let me take a look at the images. So, uh, let's start Python. So, um, first of all, let's grab all the image in here. Let's import, uh, for example, glob or even uh, from from glob import glob. Okay, this function glob in this module makes me have a list of all the images. Let's call the images equal glob how it works. As an argument you put into apostrophes uh, what you want to make a list of. But you can use the asterisk to say every everything you know so let's see what's in this list there, is, there are all the images but what if there were other images that you don't want you just can do uh, image glob with the asterisk and if you just want the png files you just write dot png and let's see what is now inside there are always the same image because in this a folder there are uh, no other images so it's obvious but if there was there were more images uh, you can figure out that it will uh, it should give give you all the just the PNG files now we can do also other thing we can uh, make walk here then everything every number and dot png and let's see images again all of them start with this but for example there is one um, number that starts with one and end with zero so the computer now it takes it like a text not just a real number so if I do uh, take all the number that starts with work zero and then everything that is after the zero and before the dot png we let's see what we have we have all the files except the number 10 because this number do not start with zero like all the others now that i have all this image i can do uh, get i can get rid of the of the zero let's say that we want to get rid of this file so for image in images so we do a for loop in a Pythonic style so that means that for every image of this list of images so it will go one for one to do something what do we want to do we want to rename it and we will do OS but we will get an error because we haven't imported OS OS rename EMG to something new and it will be well let's just let's put this because it will give me an error so I don't wanna Hello, let's import OS then for E in images this time I wanted to use I as for but is always the same for every images image I want to rename OS rename the image e into a new name that will be always walk this is the fixed part plus I want a number from uh, 1 to 9 where do I can get this number well I can do this I can uh, do images dot index I can take the index of E because the first um, item of this list is 
is this string here, work01. That is the number zero of this of this list because the arrays and list in Python the num the first as an index of zero, the second as an index of one, two, three and so on. So it starts from zero, not from one. So the first one in the first the index of the first uh, image here, the image E that is this one, the index is zero. But I don't want zero, I want zero plus plus one because I want to start from one. And as I don't want an error here, I'm gonna transform this into a string because I cannot concatenate work that is a string with a number that is not a, a string but is a number. So with str before uh, this parenthesis and the number inside, I will transform this into a number. Then I'm gonna to add also the dot png because they are image file png. Let me see. I think it should be it should be right. All the parentheses are closed. Now you should see if I haven't make mistakes. You should see here work one instead of work zero one and here work two three until ten. Okay, let's go. Let's see. There it is. It worked. Fortunately, and it's one, two instead of this. Mm, this was, this was, um, these were the names, the original names. I added the zero here. Why? Because I want in my in uh, a. I don't know if I can make you see. Okay, I had I transformed this. Um, this code here in this uh, in this blog simplified python it showed how to make how to make an animation but to make this animation the coder here has um, loaded each each frame individually as i don't want to do this i just want to load all the image in this without having to write everything I changed it into this code here there is this um, this for loop that is made in this uh, in this kind of list list comprehension it is called it is uh, a concise way a compact way to to write a for loop but it's it's a for loop and so I made this for loop in which for every image in uh, in globe images here as you can see this is the function block globe that we use it right now here sorry not here but here okay we've used here the globe function to get all the files that starts with work zero and ends with PNG with everything in the middle. So I wanted to um, so load all the files inside of this of this folder that I this folder here. But if they, their name is one two three, they won't um, they won't be in this or in this order when the when the code when the when we make the list with the for loop why because the first will be work one the second it's not this one but it's this one because the computer reads this as a text so it reads work one then the, there is work one zero that is the the next because this is similar to one but with the zero. Then the third is this, the fourth it is. So the, um, the animation doesn't, it's not right, right? Okay, so I had to change the name. If I put a zero here before the one, this will follow the right uh, sequence. So I have to put, but I don't want to make it manually. I want to make it uh, with 
Python to so that I can do it more fast, more uh, quickly. Okay, so for and so I have always this. Um, let's um, get all the images into Glob. So let's go images equal Glob, and I don't have to do Glob the Glob because I imported from Glob. I imported if you remember from Glob import Glob. When I import import glob in this way instead of just import glob I don't have to write glob dot glob but I just I just need glob and nothing else okay and then what do I want to get all the images well not all the images because I don't want this one to be changed I just want to change the 1 and the 9. So what I can do? I can do... I can do different things. I could just load everything if I want to make it very easy. I load everything. Images. You see here, as I was saying to you before, you see that work 10 is the second, it's not the last, it's the second, so I had to change this. So if I want to do something very simple, don't, doesn't, nothing crazy, I can just, uh, I can just pop the second image. So I can, from this list, I can pop the number 1, and not the number 2, but because the number 0 is the first, remember that the list starts from zero and the second uh, element that is this one is the number one let me see if it works okay you see it now it wrote here the file that was popped up let's see what this this pop function does you see there is there isn't anymore the number 10 so now I can change all my numbers with a for loop for e in images I have to rename them I have to using the OS module rename okay I rename the e the item e that is each of this item the width work zero well, I could also do something more tricky, but I wanna let's be stay easy. Plus a string that is made by the index of this e item. So the first one is number zero, as we did before. So we will have emgs the list itself index of e but as the first one is 0 and I want the first one to be called work 0 1 and not 0 0 I add one here close the parenthesis and then I add the dot png of the um, kind of file that it is Okay, think I've done all good. If there are no mistakes, I can go and hit enter twice and you should see every of this name change into 01 work 01.png work 02 etc. Let's see if I went right. There it is. So work 01, 02, 03. You see these these are not so many files so I I could have done manually, but what if they were hundreds and thousands of files? With Python, you can just do it with just a for loop, like this. Okay, and that's all for renaming file with OS module in Python. Thank you.